Hiker Jay here. This week I'm reviewing a headlamp by Nightcore. It's the NU35. It is a hybrid style of headlamp and that's why I think it's perfect for somebody who's prepping or ready for like a go bag because it's just so simple and so clean. Even the buttons are basic and simple but incredibly functional. If this is the first time on my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you could hit subscribe, that would be awesome. And as always, the link to all the products will be down in the description down below. Full disclosure, starting out, I wanna say that Nightcore did send me this headlamp and I've been using it for about three or four weeks now. And I'm pretty excited to share with you the results that I got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the actual headlamp itself, construction, how it functions. And then I'm gonna take you out into the woods and show you how it really works in a situation where maybe your car is broken down. I use my Jeep so you can see the engine as well as the back of the Jeep and seeing kind of in a camping situation, how well it lights up. I've used this in multiple situations and it's my go-to now because it's so simple and it's a hybrid. It has its own battery on board, but also you put AAA batteries in here too. So let's get into the construction. Super simple, one headed band, has the like rubbery coating on the back here to hold it, keep it in play. It basically adjusts with only one actual slider. So that's kind of simple and nice. It's not too heavy. Right now I have all the batteries in it with the actual rechargeable battery and everything. And it has, I, it's no problem. I wore it camping this last weekend and didn't even know it was there most of the time. So that's one thing with a headlamp, a lot of them have the extra piece because they're too heavy, but this is not too heavy. The single loop works just fine. Now let's get into the actual headlamp itself. So it has this plate on the front, and what that does is it protects the actual buttons behind it, which are right there, so you don't touch them when they're in a backpack or something. So you can do that, toss in a backpack, and just know that it's not going to be turning on on its own and then burning itself out. So then when you open it up, you've got two buttons, white light, red light. Love this, especially with gloves that I was wearing this last weekend. You can just know that the left side is red light, right side is white light, you're good to go. A couple taps. This one's actually three taps and a hold, and this one's just three taps. So we'll go through those settings when we're out in the wilderness too. So it does articulate to what they say is like 180, you know, angle like this, but I found it, I, there was never an angle that I couldn't get that was uncomfortable for me when I was working at a fire and also cooking. So um, has good pivot to it, no problem there. And then in the back here behind it is where you put your batteries. So this is where the triple A's go, three triple A's. For the review, I took these out because I wanted to see how powerful the rechargeable battery is because it actually says that that one will burn out a lot faster on what they call turbo, which is the full 460 lumens. So that's where the triple A's sit. And then on the other side here is where you can charge the actual battery on board. And that is a USB-C, which is pretty awesome uh, because that's what my phone is. So it's all the same thing. So I can just charge it on the goal zero over there and keep that charged up. Now, the way that this works is that it first works off of your disposable batteries and then it goes to the rechargeable. I'm not sure if I like that as much. I feel like I wish it would have go to the rechargeable first and then use the backup batteries, but that is the way that it's set up. Now, when it comes to actually using this, uh, the AAA batteries last longer. So what it is, is it goes up to 460 lumens, but really in its normal settings, it goes to 210 lumens on the white light. So your first one, you've got just a little bit of light, second one, and then third one. So this is 210 lumens. When you're going off of the AAA, it'll go for six hours like this. But then if you're just going off the rechargeable, it'll go off for four hours like this. So the rechargeable does get a little less time than the actual uh, store-bought batteries. So they think that's why they set it up that way. Now, if you really want to kick it, which is amazing, from 210 to 460, you hold down the white light one, and then it bumps up to 460. And I'll show you this when we're outside. Amazing. I was sitting at a campfire, and I was looking over, couldn't quite see something. Just held it down, bumped it up and it really kicks. The thing to know though, is this burns the battery fast because this is working at double speed, right? So on, it says on both actually, whether it's the rechargeable or the store-bought batteries, it's gonna die in about 15 minutes. So you don't wanna keep it on that. You wanna reserve that for being able to really see something far out. The 210 is plenty of light when it comes to looking around at a camping situation or the car engine, that type of thing. Now let's go over to the left side is your red light. So you click that once, really dim. This is when you're in your tent and it's pitch black and you can see well, but I love that you can go up one with it and this red light is bright. Absolutely love that because I'm a big red light fan uh, when I'm out in the woods and things and you don't ruin that night vision. So this one is awesome. Really bright, really great. And then of course you've got your three emergency light too. 
So that's basically it on the construction, super cool hybrid. Now let's go out into the woods and I can show you how it looks in a real world situation in pitch black. All right, enough about all the features and things. Let's see how it really works. So now I'm out here in the woods, uh, in the dark, uh, cloud night, so it's pretty dark out here. Got my Jeep here, and I'm gonna show you practically how it works. I'll turn the camera around, I'll turn off the camera light, I'll turn the camera around, and I'll show you all the different light functions um, as I like look at my, you know, maybe the Jeep engine, I'll look down a trail, um, and give you kind of those examples of how it would work. I do want to say that I took the AAA batteries out, so I'm working off of the charged battery, and it's fully charged. I wanted to see how that functioned out here in the wilderness experience. So now, let me flip the camera around and start walking you through all the features. All right, so here's the Jeep engine. This is the brightest it is, but I want to use this as a example of how bright this can actually get. So this is the full 460 lumens, because I know that's what you want to know how it looks, but I'm going to go through the dimmer settings too to show you that you can see just as much, man, my Jeep is dirty. I have got to clean the engine bay. Anyway, so you can check out um, all the different features. So let's go through them now. We're just going through the straight white light. So it'll turn off and then back on. All right, so the first one is pretty much just a flood and it is not that bright, but I can, I can make things out. I can read things. Then we wanna go to the next level. Pretty bright, um, pretty nice actually. You can probably see the tree next to me here, um, but everything's pretty much right in front of me. I can see, but I'm saving a lot of power by not having it fully on. Let's go to the next setting. So this is the third setting. Um, looks really bright. It's so close to being the full setting. But like if I said, if you hold that down, boom, goes to the full 460 lumens. I think that's really bright. Now this is where I wanna show you how it looks out here in the woods too. So if I get stuck where I'm hiking, now you can see um, lights up that pine tree pretty darn well. Um, and let's see how far out we can get. I'm not sure if you can make out those pine trees there. Uh, one is about 30 feet and the other one's about 50 feet away from me. Then I have some more pine trees back there and I can make out, I can make out those pine trees too at about 100 feet with this 460 lumens on. It would work well if you needed to hike out somewhere, absolutely well. You could walk through, see your steps, no problem, and you'd be just fine. Um, walking out, bushwhacking through an area, um, you'd be pretty okay doing that but if you also just need to fix a vehicle i like how it gives you that option to put it as bright as you need it because this is overkill right now i would probably do probably right at two i don't know how bright that looks for you but that's plenty bright for me to get in and work on something actually in the engine and fix something up now let's go to the back say from a camping standpoint i want to show you that too so i've got the back of my rig set up and let me go to the brighter right now so this is set up for camping as you can see pretty easy to get into things this is on setting three um, but like if you need to get into a backpack or something no problem actually it's super bright when you're up close like this when you're only like about a foot or two away um, it's incredibly bright i mean you can look inside my jeep that's kind of my sleeping platform and everything back there but the white light is really good let me go through those functions one more time and then i'll switch to the yellow so the first one we've got a dim and i can almost make things out that's two, three, not bad. If I wanna go brighter, that's the full 460 lumens. Way too much for inside a small space like this, for sure. I would take it down to probably two. Um, very comfortable, you could read, do things um, in your vehicle. But now if I'm at the point where I'm just kinda hunkering in and chilling out for the night, I'm pretty sure I would use the yellow function. So you can probably see how this makes it out to be kind of a yellow. Very easy on the eyes. Love this little flood light right here. It's bright enough to get to things, but it feels sort of like natural light. Like it feels like it's the evening. It's not something that's so bright, shocking white that I really love it. I think it's, I think it's pretty great. The yellow light function is awesome. Now let's try the red one. Um, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up. So I'll try to stay on this white stuff just to do that. So, so. Oh, actually it picks up great. I do like about the red one is, this is the lower setting, not huge, but the fact that it has a brighter setting on uh, red, it's so bright. Like this is what I want in a red light, to be able to go super bright when I need it. But if I'm packed in the back of the Jeep sleeping or whatever, I could use the low one where my lights, have, my eyes have really adjusted and I don't need this much red light. But the fact that they give you the two red lights, that is awesome. 
this Nightcore headlamp is perfect for a go bag. I mean, it's definitely something for everyday carry. Um, this is my backpack that I keep everything in. It's always in my Jeep. Uh, that's where this headlamp's gonna go because I do like the functionality of the two battery sources. Like from being a prepared and ready for something, that is a really awesome option. So now hopefully that was helpful being out in the woods and you could see how it functions. When it comes down to it, I love that it's a hybrid and that it's simple. I've got a lot of other high-end headlamps that I will use, but uh, this one's so simple when I'm just camping, I just pop it on and I know white, white, white lights on the right side, red lights on the other side, and if I really need to burst it, I can double my lumens, more than double my lumens. So the simplicity of it, the fact that it's got two battery setups, I, I just absolutely love this headlamp. This is the one that's staying in my Jeep and I'm using for camping or if I have a problem back in the wilderness in the dark. Let me know what you think. Have you ever checked out Nightcore products? I have another review on a Nightcore product, which is a cool little keychain, and it is awesome. Absolutely love this light as well, too. Puts out a ton of light on its own. Loving these products. So if you want to check these out, go ahead, check the description down below. Uh, the links are down there for you. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy, and make sure you don't get lost in the dark. Take a nice headlamp. Take care.